if you have the Sims 4 dine out game pack, then you're probably looking to start running your own restaurant and it's actually a lot of fun to do so. Here are the basics to help get you started. Firstly, you'll need a restaurant community lot. To do this, simply change the lot type to a restaurant and ensure that your lot has all of the requirements, being a host station, waiter station, chef station, I suggest having two, but you can start with one, at least four dining spots, as well as a toilet and sink. Dine Out comes with some restaurant lots that you can play, but I suggest building your own or picking a well-built one from the gallery because not to throw shade on EA, but the options they gave you kind of sucked. Then all you'll need to do is have your sim purchase the lot, which they can do from their phone or from the business tab on the bottom right. Alrighty, you own your restaurant. Now you'll need to start by transferring some money into your business. This will be used to pay staff and wholesale food costs, as well as any renovations you do on the restaurant. It's also where your profits will go and you can move money back to your Sims household funds once you start making that sweet money. Before you open for day one, you'll need to take care of some initial setup. Head over to the restaurant setting option in the business tab on the bottom right. Choose your price markup. I suggest doing at least 150% to start and optional advertising, which will attract more customers to your restaurant. You'll see that the ingredients quality is grayed out and this can be unlocked later through perks. Then you'll need a menu. You can pick drinks, appetizers, mains, and desserts with up to 30 options in each section, but you don't need to pick that many if you don't want to. I just picked five. As long as you have some food there for people to order, they'll be happy. Also note that each dish has a different difficulty rating out of five. And early on, you'll wanna pick dishes that aren't too hard to make as your chefs will be more inexperienced. If your chef tries to make a dish that's too difficult, it will come out poor quality and your customers will hate you for it. As your chefs get more experienced, you can adapt and change your menu to add more difficult dishes in. You'll also wanna choose what your staff wears. There are some cool presets, but you can tweak the outfits to be whatever you want them to be. It's really great for if you wanted to add a theme to your restaurant. And finally, choose your customer's dress code. I decide to have everyone dress up in formal wear to eat their pretzel and banana bread. Now let's talk staff. You'll need to hire a host who will greet and show customers to their tables, waiters who will serve customers, and chefs to cook food. You can do this from the business tab on the bottom right, and you'll start out being able to hire one of each, but will later be able to hire up to two chefs and three waiters. Most likely, they'll start off with pretty low skills, so don't expect too much from them. Host, comedy, and charisma skill will determine your guest satisfaction when seated. Waiter's fitness skill will mean they drop food less, while their charisma will influence the quality of their customer service. Your chef's gourmet cooking skill will determine the quality of the food they make, while their mixology will influence the quality of the drinks they make. Note that staff will automatically perform their role at the start of each day and will naturally get better skills as they continue working. However, this is a bit slow and you can enlist staff into training if you want them to get better at their job faster, but this will cost some money, damn it. As your employee skills grow, it's also a good idea to pay them more just so that they stay happy and work efficiently. Customers that enter your restaurant will also leave a review when they finish, which will affect the star rating of your restaurant, being from one to five. A higher star rating will mean you have a more natural foot traffic, and it's just generally a good sign that you're running your restaurant successfully. Customers will start with a rating of three, and they will go up or down depending on how much they enjoyed your service. A cheerful greeting from your host, quality food, good service, nice to call and a bit of attention from you, the manager, will go a long way to making customers leave a good review. Poor quality food and bad customer service on the other hand will really hinder your cause, but nice decor is something that you have a lot of control over and that if you have it there, you can't screw it up. So I'm all for decor, distract everyone with your artworks. Now, if you've got too many customers and you feel you're struggling to keep up, you can click on the host stand and select disallow new customers to give you a chance to get back on top of things but there's even more you can do as a manager, thankfully, because that wouldn't be much. You can welcome or check in with guests, which will help with your star rating and also give you 25 perk points. You can also prioritize customers' orders if they've been waiting a while, or shout free drinks or food to help smooth things over if your guests are unhappy or if you're really screwed up. As you interact with and serve more customers, you'll earn perk points. Most notably, these can help you hire an additional chef and two more waiters, as well as unlocking the ability to change your ingredient quality, which means you can use cheaper or more expensive ingredients, which will influence the quality of the food the chefs make. There are a range of other perks to streamline your business as well. Finally, you can run your restaurant from home. Note that you'll need to establish it first, so it might lose money without you there. Simply open the store when you're on your home lot and don't go in. It's that easy but I also lost money, so maybe not that easy. Alas, that's all the basics to running a restaurant in The Sims 4. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.